And Watson has joined Sharp. It's Watson. Nevin beaten to it. Then McCall. And deflected by Sharp. And wide. Dave Watson making a nuisance of himself well forward. There was some good defending there by Lee Martin. McCall hit it, and it would have counted if Sharp could have guided it in. Phelan first in the loose ball again. Martin. McClare and Hughes. It runs for Brian McClare, who was being pulled back. But the referee allowed him to have his shot, which was taken off balance. It didn't trouble Neville Southall. But confirming, really, that Manchester United have plenty to be pleased about the way the first half has gone for them. Side. Newell's in the clear, Everton lead. And what a success story in Everton colours it's turning out to be. A new scoreboard and a new striker giving it plenty of work to do in registering goals to his name. Mike Newell scores at Goodison Park for the third home game in a row. Everton won, Manchester United nil. And the goal coming at a time when Brian McLaren had a smell of a chance at the other end and Manchester United might have had a claim for a penalty. It's been... An even first half, intense circumstances, but Everton have broken through. Blackmore, Hughes, the flag is up. Well, at 1.1 million pounds, he looks a snip. So hungry for a second chance in the first division, having tasted the top flight with Luton. And I wonder what Tony Cotty makes of it all, and at least Neil McDonald brings a smile to the face of the player who's on the outside, whose number 10 shirt has been prized from him by Mike Newell. time really that the pace has just slackened slightly and it's momentarily as well here comes Newell all right side it was an awkward height if he'd met it on the meet it would have been 2-0 by Ratliff. Newell won it fairly from Donaghy, and Pat Nevin is onside. Pallas is making up the ground, but Pat Nevin has produced a delightful finish. And inside two minutes in the second half, Everton celebrates goal that was rounded off with real imagination by a player who has that quality in abundance. He just lifted it over the onrushing Jim Layton. It was audacity produced at top speed. 2-0.
and you can be sure the one thing Manchester United didn't want to do coming out a goal down at the start of the second half was to concede an early goal they've done that to Nevin and there'll be some by-play in the Scottish World Cup camp when Pat Nevin meets Jim Layton in those quarters Alec Ferguson down on the bench for the second half and no sooner has he come down to that position and his team is really in severe problems and that expression reflected just that feeling Whiteside has stayed down Great play by Mike Newell. That's Nevin's cross. Sharp! A goal of real first division pedigree. Nevin found by Newell and Sharp in turn picked out by the cross. The ball to the far post will always work if it's well delivered and you've got a brave forward on the end of it and of its type that's a classic for Everton and for Graham Sharp and it's been a disastrous start to the second half for Manchester United and that goal came when Norman Whiteside was down with a head injury that seen him go off the pitch I'm not sure whether Norman saw the third goal. Neil McDonald immediately summoned. You take no chances with head injuries. Duxbury, Hughes and McClare still making their runs up front and Brian McClare has got one back and Manchester United to their credit have kept heads high after conceding two goals in quick succession at the start of the second half to go three down on through past Hughes for McClare and it's back to 3-1 Martin complacent but they've lost the goal United are revived by Brian McClare's 50th goal in all competitions for Manchester United and another goal here would really be a significant step towards a recovery and Clayton Blackmore curled it past the wall but past the post it was a useful effort Claire. another corner again entrusted to the left foot of Lee Sharp Pallister's gone to the near post here's Bruce Hughes off the line Snowden Pallister Sharp
could it get any closer for Hughes? Bruce came in. Hughes had the shot. And then Snowden swept it off the line. And finally, it was Lee Sharp stretching and away. Feeling. He's got McClare to the left. And Newell tracking his progress but bringing him down. Mike Newell might reflect that Tony Cotty, of course, had a similarly sensational start to his Everton career. Cotty got a hat-trick on his debut, of course, against Newcastle. So there's plenty of sustaining to do over the months ahead. Viv Anderson would add to Manchester United's strength in the air. Bruce. Oh! It's another one back. And it's Beersmore. A fantastic recovery by Manchester United. Bruce played his part. And Beersmore lashed it past Southall on the run. Since Norman Whiteside went off, Manchester United have scored twice. And we still haven't reached the halfway point in the second half. The second half that's produced four of the game's five goals. of need, Manchester United have responded magnificently. And this tiny midfielder who had moments of heroic quality last season has made a real impact here at Goodison Park shortly after coming on as a substitute. It's Phelan. There's still a bit to do for Alec Ferguson's team. He can be proud of the effort they put in in the last 10 minutes or so that's produced such reward. A beleaguered manager. And it's all happened since the old United warrior, now of Everton, Norman Whiteside, has gone off. pointed for the penalty and this was the incident so Kevin Cheedy has the job of scoring from the spot and giving Everton a win which looked certain at 3-0 at 3-2 it's a pressure penalty and Leitner has not only stopped it he's held it And Manchester United are still alive. Thanks to their Scottish international goalkeeper. And a failure by the Republic of Ireland international midfield man for Everton. Newell. Unabashed. Everton drive on again. Until Poynton tries to slow it down with Sheedy. Sharp. Pass Pallister. Held up by Donaghy, but Pat Nevin puts it wide by the finest of margins. Still, Everton can't relax. Nevin a whisker away. But it should have been 4-2 here. 
but Leighton guessed the right way and hung on from Sheedy.